Hey, I'm Dave, and uh, I was born with a uh, near fibromatosis, um, known as NF1. Um, the, the actual name is it. It's called von Ruppen von Ruppenhauser Hausen disease, and uh, it was actually discovered in 1849 by Frederick von Ruckenhausen and uh, they say it had a widely a widely increase between 1909 to 1990 that's when they first started discovering it more but I'm sure there was way before then but Frederick von Ruckenhausen is the one that discovered it that's why a lot of people don't know it by von Ruckenhausen disease that's how I know it by because it's what my mom told me I had when I was little and uh there's different symptoms of it. Um, you get tiny bumps in the iris called noodles, which I have some. They're tiny spots you have to go. They're on the outside of your iris, um, which you have to go to the doctor and they see they see them in there. Um, also, you get the cafe latte spots, which is the the light brown spots. Um, they say if you have six or more, that's one one of the indications that you have NF1. Um, freckling, you got little freckles all over, like in your armpits, and uh, in your groin area is another sign of NF1, which I have that too. Um, I mean, small p small p size bumps. Which I have, which you can see all over. They're about the size of peas. I mean, they're from my uh, chest, my back. They're coming up on my neck and arms now. Uh, it's a progressive order disorder, so the older you get, the uh, more it progresses on. So, I mean, yes, some people have it a lot worse. Some people don't have it a lot worse. I guess it's all, I think they said it's in the chromosome. Uh, 17 gene is the uh, mutation, as they would call it. You know, I don't know why they want to. Uh, people, people with NF don't like being called mutation or disease. It's just a disorder we have. I mean, it's not, you know, you can't catch it from someone. Um, a lot of people see all the bumps you do, like you, you know, you know. Um, instead of asking, you know, you know. Look at a person with NF1, like, what's wrong with you? I mean, uh, that really hurts us, you know? I mean, you know, I have a, another thing is learning disabilities. You have a learning disability. I had that in school. Um, numbness or weakness. I have one in my arm that's right here. And they say it's too deep to remove, so I have to deal with um, numbness and weakness all the time. Uh... Over-the-counter medicine really don't help. <clears throat> I mean, it can. I have one inside my neck here. That's too deep to remove. They said by the main juggler vein and stuff, so they can't really take the chance of taking it out or anything. So, I mean, that's another thing we have to live with. Let me see. Um, you're, you're, you have a 50% chance of passing it on to your children, which my daughter does have it. She just hasn't been diagnosed yet. Um, I have had an MRI. They found little small spots that, you know, says I had MNF1. Um, so yeah, that's another thing you get to do with yearly MRIs to see how your brain's doing. Cause you know, it has a lot, a lot of people have brain tumors and stuff that affect your brain and stuff. Um, I had an eye test, which they, that's where they found the iris noodles in my eyes. Little dots in your eyes. Which, you, uh, NF1 people have a, a higher chance of getting glaucoma. Higher chance of going blind. Um, hearing loss, which I have a mild hearing loss in my left ear. Which, now I do a ringing 24-7, which a no cure for that either. Um... There's really nothing. I mean, they say they say a lot. I mean, can help.
with this disorder, but you know, that, which there's no cure. We all know that. There's no. There's gonna be never do. Hopefully, there'll be a cure someday, but not as we speak. And uh, it's just you know, I when I was little, I dealt, dealt with a lot of bullying because of this. Because my head, you have a NF1 people have a higher chance of having a bigger head, and that's one of my other symptoms. I had a bigger head, you know, called Franken forehead during school, you know. You know, kids can be so mean when you're little, you know. And now that you're getting older and getting more bumps and stuff, even grown-ups can get more, you know. Um, you know, you like, what you got? How about you just ask us what we have and not just stare and point and laugh, you know. You guys have no idea people will end up how much pain, you know, we deal with. I might not look like it, I might not have as many bumps as a lot of people, but you know, I deal with pain 24-7, 24-7. My back, my knees, you know, weakness on my arm where the tumor is, is, and a lot of doctors, I found one doctor, and he said, and he says, he's heard of it, and I'm his first patient with it. <laughs> you know, you figure as long, as long as this has been around, that um, there'd be more doctors, you know. There's a lot of good research, enough doctors that know this stuff, but not a lot locally. I don't have the funds, you know, to drive two to four hours one way and two to four hours one way back. My, my car's crap, so, you know, I gotta deal with the pain, you know. I went to an MRI, I went to an eye doctor, an oncologist. I went to uh, a hearing doctor, I've seen four other doctors, and they just live with it. That's basically what they said, live with it. I was trying to get on the that new Cinnabella drug that shrinks the tumors. <sighs> Which, you know, he said, you can get on it, but they want to do more MRIs on my back. MRI on my whole body. You know, I'm done being a guinea pig. You know, we shouldn't have to go through all this testing we feel like a guinea pig picked in product needles and you know I spent three months with all these doctors nope can't do them that's just disappointing you know it's disappointing that you had to go go through this all you know and with all these little bumps and everything everywhere, you know, you can't see a lot on camera, but they're they're there once the light hits them. There's like thousands, thousands of them, you know. Um, some people have dating issues, you know, because people don't understand it, and they don't, you know, understand the bumps. And you know, I've tried talking to a few people, and they just once they seen the bumps, it's just like you know, poof, you know, you're a ghost. You know, I wish we all could get it more out there, you know. Um, what it is like to live within that because, you know, doctors and everyone looking at you like you're faking it, you know, live with this disorder, you know. It's very hard with people that has a lot more tumors than me. I can only imagine, you know, the pain. My mom, went, I had to watch my mom go through it. And she, probably in her 40s, she had thousands and thousands of them. You know, she hardly go outside. Um, people, when, it, when she took me to school, she made, they made fun of her, so, you know, that was hard. You know, because I, I didn't take none of that crap, you know. That's my mom, you don't. My brother has it. Uh, he was born with a tumor in his brain, and... Um, they tried operating it on them, and they basically didn't. They didn't know much about it back then either. In <coughs> 1970s, you know, they didn't know much about it either. And uh, which now he's can't walk. He basically paralyzed in a wheelchair. Um, he's blind. He can't talk or nothing like that. They had to use a feeding tube to feed him. Um, he's in a home group home for older kids. My mom did it when she was. Uh, I don't blame my mom. She 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 put him in a home when he was little because um, 
it was a lot to do, you know. She she tried, but she didn't, you know, back then you had to use the feeding tubes, you had a wheelchair, um, he couldn't walk, you know, and all that. And the doctors basically said it's probably better if he goes to a group home, which he tried. I got pictures of him, if I can find him, uh, when we was little, that's the only time I remember him. And uh, he's in a group home because of that, and, you know, NF took him. Uh, my grandma died from a brain tumor um, from NF. My mom passed away. She had NF. They said she had a brain aneurysm, most likely from NF. You know, this has been a rough life for me, doing, you know, losing everything. And uh, NF's put me in a lot of, a big, a big depression, you know. And try and live with it day for day, you know, you get more and more bumps as you get older, they get bigger, you know, your arm gets freaking weaker, you know, and being told you can't, there's no, no cure, but you know, they won't even give me no pain pills or nothing, you know, like, I'm not saying I need them, but you know, it might help my arms from going weak, I have my lower back problems, I have knee problems, you know, and uh, they just, they look at you like you're, a drug head, you know, and you're faking all this. Or people, you know, family members, you know, tell people with NF, uh, you're fa oh, it ain't that bad. Just you don't know, live with it. No, let me tell you. Go. I'll give you a week with NF. People that have it, and you, you know, people that don't have it, you know, and you tell me how the pain it is, you know, the looks you get, you know. Like you're, a, you know, like you're a freak. You know, um, some people understand, you know, the disorder, but you know, a lot of other people just want to, you know, look at you like you know, a freak. You know, it needs to be more out there. That's why I was starting YouTube. You know, there's videos. A lot of people making. A lot of doctors are talking about it. There's, you know, a lot of other doctors talking about it. You rarely see very few videos on YouTube about. There's a few of people talking about how they live with it, you know, what's their view of it, you know. Um, it's depressing and painful and some people have it a lot worse than me and I can, I don't look at, you know, as me as worse or less worse than someone, you know. I, sometimes people say, well, I have it worse, you know. I get that. But, you know, I still have the on site that I have it. You know, dealing with the bullying since school, losing my mom, you know, how my brother is, you know, trying to date, you get, look like you're, you know, because you got bumps all over, you know, they don't want to touch you, and, um, yeah, um, I haven't made a video in a while, I've just been, I'm stuck in depression, to tell you the truth, you know, um, it's very hard for me, um, if you like to learn, if you if you want me to do more videos, let me know. Um, I plan on doing a video on vitamins I've been taking. You know, what helps me and what you know, because there's a, you know, um, your vitamin D deficiency, your your vitamin D deficiency a lot on NF1, um, calcium. I mean, I'll go through all that if you want me to make a video just on vitamins and uh, how I do that. But anyways, um, like. And subscribe and tell all your friends and family and stuff about my videos you know hopefully they can look at it you know like this is how someone lives with NF not as live with it because I'm telling you it's hard to live with this disease you know um, it's just getting told to live with it and now you know I'm doing ringing in my ears that's 24 7 it's hard to sleep I have to have a fan on all the time and no care, we would. It just gets me that you know, you know one. What is it? One in uh, no. One in three thousand people are born with NF, and a lot of people don't say it's rare. But I have doctors tell me it's a rare disease. A neurologist told me it was a rare disease. Uh, the eye doctor told me it's a rare disease, and not you know if it's not that rare as people think it is. 
That's what a lot of doctors don't know about. It. You know, it's not, it's not, you know, it's a rare disease, but you know, people are like, oh, it's not that rare. If it's not that rare, then, you know, you think more doctors will know about it. They, a lot of doctors don't even get taught near fibromatosis, you know. Um, very few do. Um, I had one neurologist that knew it, that knows it, but he's out of state until next year sometime, so I have to wait till next July to even talk to him. So, let me know if you want any more videos. I'm out.